Bringing home a pet can add so much joy and love into your life. And there are so many local animals who need a good family. And that's why we have Renee Donito come on every week to introduce us to a few. And here's this week's edition of Lost and Pound. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, I'm Renee Danino. This week, we're hoping you have room in your heart and your home to help fetch dog rescue of Connecticut. Meet Shirley, about 10 months old, a mixed breed and has been doing so well in her current foster home. Now she is potty trained, she is crate trained, and we believe she would do best in her home with another dog. She loves company. Shirley is a bit shy, so it takes her a moment to warm up, but once she does, she'll be at your side forever. She's a Velcro dog for sure. Next, meet Travis, approximately five to six months old, up to date on all vaccinations and neutered. He comes to fetch with his two sisters all the way from Mississippi. That's where he was thrown out and left all alone in the woods as a young pup. Travis is a doll, sweet, loving, and an instant best friend. He would love another pup to play with and would be great with kids. Now, he is a shepherd mix, so he'll have moderate to high energy and would love to be in an active household. Next, puppy power. Max is approximately 14 weeks old, playful, fun-loving, cute as they come. He loves everyone he meets, including all dogs and cats, and would love to be in a home with a family. He also will be an active dog, so a family that hikes or is outside a lot would be ideal. Ideal. Max is truly the perfect companion. He loves cuddles, goes hard, and sleeps hard. Max is up to date on his vaccinations and will be neutered by Fetch when he is mature. Now to meet all of today's cuties, visit fetch-rescue.com. People and pets, when we're kinder to animals, we're kinder to people. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more adoptable pets and stories. I'm Renee Danino. All right, right, come, come on, on over. over. I'm coming on over. So Woo! do you brush Wolfie's teeth? I, you know what? I do brush Wolfie's teeth, and I make sure he eats a lot of crunchy yeah, biscuits crunchy to clean because tar yeah. tartar on teeth for pets is terrible. 